This week we're learning what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. And today we learn two outcomes that take place in our lives when we are disciples of Jesus and follow him coming up. Hello and welcome once again to the One Verse Daily Devotional. My name is Matt and we look at just one simple verse to grow a little bit deeper in our faith every single day. And so I'm glad that you're with me here today. And this week we are looking at what it means to be a disciple. And and being a disciple can kind of be a confusing word. What does that really mean? Well, in yesterday's episode, we looked at John 8, 31, and we learned from Jesus himself. He said, if you want to be my disciple, hold to my teachings, learn my teachings and live them out in your life. Like it's simple as that. We're going to spend the rest of our lives really learning what that means and what it means to be a disciple and a follower of Jesus today in this culture and in our lives and how we can apply his teachings to our lives. But if we accept his teachings and uh, do our best to live them out, then you are a disciple of Jesus. It's not more complicated than that. It is not easy all the time, and we can learn a lot more how to be a better disciple. But if you accept the teachings of Jesus and do your best to live them out in your life, then you are a disciple of Jesus. Now, we move on. We're in the very next verse today. And it says in John 8, 32, Jesus is speaking here and he continues on and he says, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. A famous phrase, the truth will set you free. And it's in this context of what it means to be a disciple of of Jesus. He says, then you will know the truth. I love that. So first, what comes first? Being a disciple. And what does that mean? Simply, because again, that can get confusing. Okay. All right. I got to be a disciple. I got to do all these things. No, no, no. It just means accept Jesus's teachings, right? Okay. Well, I accept his teachings. Okay. Once you do that, you experience Truth. A couple of weeks ago, we went through the I am passages of Jesus. And what does Jesus say? I am the way, the truth, and the life, right? Jesus is the capital T truth. And so if we hold to his teachings, if we follow after him, if we follow the truth, capital T, then we will experience truth. We will know truth in our lives. It, it makes sense, right? Then you will know the truth. I love this next part. And the truth will set you free. See, a lot of us have struggled with some bondage in our lives, haven't we? Uh, Maybe a past that you just won't let go of. Maybe you've made some mistakes in your past and you have trouble forgiving yourself. You have trouble getting over it. And, And so many times we try to fix ourselves, right? We try to experience our own truth. We try to heal ourselves. We try to uh, get ourselves back in order and pull ourselves up. And then we're like, all right, now I'm good. Let's go see God. Let's do this whole Christian thing. Let's see if I can have a deeper relationship with God now. And, and Jesus literally says in these verses, you got it backwards. See, you don't experience freedom and then know truth and then become my disciple. But isn't that exactly what we do? That's why I started yesterday with the foundation. You might have been like, well, man, I watched that video and it was pretty like, okay, duh. Jesus says, follow my teachings and you're a disciple. It's not that big of a deal. But now we're moving on and we realize that step is critical, right? Because so many of us flip-flop it. So many of us say, I need to experience freedom in my life. And then I'll discover the truth. And then I'll be a disciple of Jesus. And Jesus says, no, you don't have to jump through all these hoops to be my disciple. Jesus says, no, no, no. If you accept my truth, if you accept my teachings, then you'll know me, which is to know truth. And when you know me, you experience freedom. Do you see how that's totally different, right? From trying to discover freedom on our own, leading to our own discovery of truth, and then we'll become the disciple of Jesus. Because we think the disciple is this like super complicated, what? no, no, no. She says, 
Just, just hold to my teaching and then you'll learn the truth and the truth will set you free. That's why I said even yesterday, it doesn't say that you have to be perfect, that students can mess up. A disciple is a student and a student can make mistakes. And, and that's why I said that is because Jesus says, no, you come to me and just say, I accept your teachings. He literally says, just hold to my teachings. All right. I, I want to accept your teachings. I'm going to try to live out your teachings, but I might screw up. I might mess up. I might make a mistake. I might fall to sin. I might fall to temptation. She says, hold to my teachings and you're going to experience more deeper truth. And through those things, you'll experience freedom from that bondage. You'll experience freedom from that temptation. You'll experience freedom from your sin and from your past mistakes. Like I said yesterday, or maybe it was on Sunday. I tell you what, go back to Sundays. That was good too. Psalm 86, five, where we learn that God is forgiving and, and good and he's abounding in love. God loves you. He forgives you. He wants you to be, uh, he wants you to follow him. He wants you to be a disciple. But that simply means accept his teaching, learn his truth, and you'll experience freedom. Don't try to flip it around. God loves you. And, and like I said in, I don't know if it was Sunday's video or Monday's video, I don't know. Go back, go back and watch them both, all right? And then share them with all your friends, all right? <laughs> but the most important thing I want to share with you is that God is not nearly as concerned about your past as he is with your future. See, we focus on our past, right? But God's not. God's focused on our future. He loves you. And he says, be my disciple. Hold to my teaching. When you do that, you'll experience the truth and the truth will bring you and, and allow you to experience freedom in your life. It will literally set you free. Have a great day.